Well, I'm with John Turner now, who's the uh, dinghy builder. And this is his latest creation, I might say, John. Yes, it is, yeah. So here we go. It's a Merlin rocket. Yep. And the design we've called it as a genie, as in Merlin and rocket, to carry on the thing. Yep. Um, it's got a number of new innovations which are easy to see. Right. And uh, they are uh, around the foils. We've got a high aspect ratio of foils on this boat. That's the rudder. And it's difficult to see the centerboard while it's on the shore, but we have a high aspect ratio centerboard also. So there's slightly less wetted area uh, with the foils, and we anticipate a better efficiency from them. The hull shape is also new, and the most fundamental part of the hull shape is the uh, carrying of the beam aft above the waterline, which is unique to Merlin so far. And as you can see probably by the shots at the moment, the hull is very slim. A difficult perspective really to see it, but it, it's, it carries its beam all the way to the transom. A number of other classes do that, but Merlin's historically haven't. And fundamentally because the build uh, techniques didn't allow us to do it as the boats were too flexible in a torsional manner. With modern materials and using the aft tank option, it makes the boat very stiff. I can just indicate where the aft tank is here. Uh, this has been permitted within the rules uh, since buoyancy tanks in the aft end of the boat have been allowed, which is well over 20 years, 25 years. But no one has actually made it in this fashion. All the other ones have always been much shorter and taller. This one aids uh, clean lines in the boat and it's very efficient after a capsize because there's a lot of buoyancy held low and as the boat is righted a lot of the water will automatically empty out through the transfer traps and that's completely non-typical for a Merlin. Uh, so after a capsize you're probably up to racing speed within a minute of righting the boat. Um, apart from that, there, there are a number of other issues. We've got two travellers. This one here is completely uh, revolutionary because this allows the top of the mast to cant to windward. We haven't used this in racing in anger yet, but we're hoping to later in the season. When the travellers pulled to the weather side, if we were on the weather side now, the tip of the mast corresponds almost where that traveller is, so the further it comes, you can actually more or less see it now coming over on top of me as I'm pulling it across. The tip of the mast is slightly further over than the traveller at the moment, but it helps to give us a good datum in the boat so we know where it is. As I say, not yet proved in the racing. And, um, We've got uh, new foil sections, as I mentioned in the early part, which are CNC mould tool produced, so they're extremely accurate, very low drag, and very repeatable. What I do is uh, put them both together. Okay. Well, thanks very much indeed for that, You're John. Welcome. And yeah. that's, um, that looks a great boat. Yeah. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of interest in that.